Hello, I am Achoom, the cat of many hats. And last time on D&D Minus, our heroes are stranded on the level of Minoris. We have to collect four keys to speak with Mamoon and escape to the next level of hell. We successfully got the first key from the overthinkers and moved on to the pit of despair, where the inhabitants live in fear of a monster that murders anyone with even a shred of hope. We, of course, meant to fall into the pit. And I discovered the key under the water below the giant webbed platform that saved us from our fall. Gravy used shape water to attempt to bring the key out of its watery hiding place when we were accosted by a monstrous creeping doubt. Heroic battle ensued. Tentacles were cleaved. Curses were bestowed. Frogs were summoned. Damien shrunk me down to a teacup kitten to escape the Cthulian grasp. Finally, we made it to safety via portal whirlpool. Two keys obtained, two to go. Are you regular size now or teacup? Oh, I am 100% a little tiny teacup. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Curse you! Morgan, you're going to make that whole thing in teacup noise. Yeah, do it in the hole. <laughs> Can I turn a teacup kitten into a like a humongous teacup kitten or is that just a humongous kitten? Interesting. I would say just, can you, <laughs> do you have a filter to make it a British voice for a teacup? <laughs> <laughs> well, in the time that Achum is recording the recap, that's Achoom's regular voice. But for the episode, I'm assuming you are. You, I wish I had a balloon with me, honestly. Right. It's just mm. the actor Achoom. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, we're each actors uh, <laughs> that are <laughs> the characters and were the characters? Yeah. It's like Family Guy where they have the actors. Who do you think was appearing on the show? Yeah. On the, Who do you think the... was on Doc and D? I yeah. thought yeah. Teacup Achoom would like go do a show after the thing that happened. It's like the recap at the end of Love Island or whatever. It's right? just like yeah, Love yeah, Island. Exactly. Thank you. You're Morgan. thinking exactly. that it's like an interview booth situation in hell. Mm, like they go mm -hmm. to the interview. Sorry, are you Damien or Morgan right now? <laughs> I think I'm Morgan. Yeah. Hi, Morgan. Hi. You play Damien and Damien. Exactly. And Damien also plays Damien. Well, he plays Damien and Damien playing Damien. Exactly. Oh, oh my God. God. Okay, well, now I'm lost. I have no idea what's happening. When we do the play within the play, Heath is going to hate it. <laughs> <laughs> you head west, and an impossibly short walk later, you find yourself overlooking the windblown hills and encampments of the resignation. Unlike the stargazers who spend all day with their eyes turned upwards and the enclave of excellence that's constantly on the move, these people look much more normal. They're moving about and talking amongst themselves, though as you approach, not many of them take notice of you. You finally catch the eye of a human with a rough, scraggly beard and neck-length hair who greets you and says, Welcome, friends, to the resignation. Pull up a piece of fire and join us, for your journey has ended and, dare I say it, Never should have started in the first place. Super. Okay. Mm. Negative. Heck like yeah. A, Sorry. Okay. He's like a nihilist or something. Mm -hmm. Exhausting. Excuse me, sir. Is this at all reservation like? Or nope. Am I it just is. Hey, I like, thanks so much for asking. There is absolutely nothing Native American <laughs> coded about this place. Cool. It's a bunch of. In fact, I know this sounds weird, but it's a great time to say it. Everyone here is white. <laughs> Every single person in this particular in this encampment. entire podcast, yep, is no. white and the universal. Oh, so I just got to be clear: no First Nation peoples are people. simulated or otherwise. There's nothing about this, and if you're imagining them, it's on you. I report you to Can. That's on you. Wow. No First Nation people were harmed. What? <laughs> <laughs> in the making of this podcast. I think it's fair to say that. I think it's fair to say that. Because they're just not here. Well, because no one's listening anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we should sit down. 
down and probably try to understand what the hell's up with this section of the game, right? Mm. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, can we get you back to regular size? Because that's going to be exhausting <laughs> yeah. for you to, to keep up with. I like it this way. All right. I'm pretty sure it's concentration. So let me just stop concentrating. Oh, man. I didn't. I liked fitting it to Vardis' pocket. It I'm is. sorry about your pocket. Oh, head. you're back to regular size. Look at that. <laughs> Everyone else just pictured Achum bursting out of Vardis' pocket, <laughs> right? <laughs> like the ass wolves of last season. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed a cat just emerged from your chest. Mm-hmm. That was weird. It happens. Yeah. No, it happens. Hey, do you have like um, a key here? Oh, ho, ho. You must be one of the foolish few who think they're getting out of this place, eh? Well, we call you Hope Dopes here on the resignation, which is as funny as it is cool. Take it from me, there's no way off this place except through the castle. And through the castle, you'd need keys from each of the four surrounding tribes, and that is impossible. We, we've heard. Um, we have two. Should, no, sh- 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 just, can we just get we the one you have? Two more chances Too to get it from you. Much jelly. Fun and cool Look, stuff on our peanut butter. <laughs> I'm and pretty jelly sure sandwiches. the cat Too much just fun. said you have two keys. No, we no, don't have two much jelly. That's, yeah, that's Too not what much happens. Peanut butter You're and jelly crazy. In my sandwiches. <laughs> we have two key words. Do you see this badonka dunk? Two. <laughs> You've forgotten everything that happened because of looking at that ass. That's my butthole. Look, it doesn't matter whether or not you have two booty, keys. Booty, 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 what you booty. don't you have said, two keys. Booty, you booty, just said booty, that. Booty, booty. I'm just going to wildly twerk for the rest of the episode. Yep, no, that booty, makes booty, sense. Booty, and booty, honestly, booty, listener booty, at booty, home, booty. if you are just picturing that, no matter what else we say and do, this is our best episode yet. So <laughs> to be clear, are you tiny or regular? Regular. Oh, I, I, I'm regular size Got now it. because someone stopped concentrating. But I could enlarge the twerking. You cat. could enlarge just the badonkadonk, maybe. I don't think that's necessary. Look at this thing. Look, <laughs> look, look. It doesn't matter. Yes, look. How many keys you have. You have one, you have two. You don't have four. And if you don't have four, what we say on the resignation is that you don't have any. And that means... You should never have tried in the first place. Mm. All right. Well, then by that reasoning, then there's no reason for you to have one. Oh, you want our key? Hell, we have two keys. We have the key mm. for us and the Stargazer's key. Yeah. A few years ago, they were thinking of building a rocket ship and we stole their key just in case they got too far. What they were doing wasn't going to work. So we had to sabotage it because it was lame. Mm. Because they, like you... Could not solve the impossible riddle. Ooh. I feel like you want us to ask you what the riddle is. Ha! You think I'd tell you the impossible riddle just like that? No, no, no. If you want the impossible riddle, you'll have to pass the test of wits. All right, but we don't want the impossible riddle. We just want the keys. Yeah. Yeah. Can't have the keys without the impossible riddle. Can't have the impossible riddle without the test. All right, well, see, now you're you're adding things. Too. Your level of resignation is like selective. I just want to say, I feel like you have some things that you care about. That's because I don't know what that word means, really. Oh, <laughs> uh, you just wanted nation to fit? No, that's actually, now that Morgan pointed it out, I'm actually pretty upset that nation fits. <laughs> <laughs> Resigned Shrine. Welcome to the Resigned Shrine. <laughs> it's going to be weird that I inserted that post hoc in all the early parts of the episode. Look, here's the test of wits. And he shows you. Whose phone is that? The what phone? Did you guys hear that? No. 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 Okay. It was nobody. <laughs> are, you, are you having. Is that the test of wits? Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, that Gravy's just gaslighting people about their phones. <laughs> it was literally my phone in real life, and I was oh. trying to make it so it was going to be somebody else. And you were all like, I didn't hear it. And I was like, fuck, I didn't need to do any of this. God damn it. Why am I you telling did, the truth right now? You did it as Gravy, too, which was even more confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I would never murder myself. <laughs> All right, so now he shows you three barrels. One is labeled apples, 
One is labeled oranges, and one is labeled apples and oranges. And he says, "This feels like the impossible riddle." That this we have to no, win. this is the test of wits. Test of wits. <laughs> okay. Each of these barrels has the wrong label on it. You must fix the labels by reaching into only one barrel and seeing what's inside. Can we ask questions about it? Absolutely. Okay. It's weird you responded to me. I was just. Heath. Oh, can you eat that? <laughs> Sorry. Well, Gravy pointed out that your phone rang. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't know. I love you one either. It's confusing. Okay. I don't know who you think Gravy's been playing. Elias Bosnick, can we ask questions, please? All right. Are you asking me or the person who plays Eli? I I'm asking you, Elias <laughs> Bosnick, right now. Okay. It's weird because you're just a voice I do anyways. But yes, I have, I have answers for you. Say things as me and you at the same time. Shamanam. Oh, how dare you? How dare you know in that bit? <laughs> I'm cutting all of this. I'm cutting the podcast. Uh, question for you, guy with... Um, what's your name, by the way? My name is... Don't do a Native American Paul. one. Paul. Nope, definitely not that. It's Paul. <laughs> your name Your name is Paul, but like with a bunch of L's? Mm -hmm. Paul. Thanks to patron Paul for... Is there a patron Paul? Mm-hmm. Probably. What do you mean patron? No, that was me. That was me saying thanks to patron <laughs> Paul. I do that every time. <laughs> patron Paul. I'm going to start using beep. This is how we get beeps and swooshes and doodly doos in the fucking... We're, oh God, we're no. in like 19 levels of those already, yeah. so I don't know where we are. We're on actually the third level of hell. Hey, uh, Paul? Fourth? Third. Yes. Paul? Yes. Yeah. So uh, it, what is it? It's apples... And then oranges and apples and oranges. In the one that's apples and oranges, is it half and half? Uh, there's no way to know unless you look inside. All right. So I think I've got this figured out. Wait, let, let me talk it out because I'm high. If we reach in the apples one, we know all of them are wrong, right? Is, is that correct, Eli? Correct. All right. So if we reach in the apples one and it has an apple in it, then we know it has to be apples and oranges. Oh, sure. Right? Because um, it's wrong. Oh, and then we just swap the other two. Well, no, that wouldn't work, right? Or would it? That makes, it would because, yeah, that, that actually makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah. But then what if it's an orange? What? If we open the, if we look in the at one that says apples and it's an orange, then, then do we, is it still, because it could be then oranges or apples and could, oranges. Then it could be one of two things, yeah. Oh. Uh, actually, it could only be... It could be the mixed, or it could be the or the apples. oranges, oranges, or the orange. All right. Yeah. So then, if we mix, if we if we open up the one that's that says apples and oranges, whatever we pick up, we know that's wrong. So whatever we pick up, if we pick up an apple out of that one, then we know that one is the apple. The apple one. Oh, hey, that's question right? for yeah. Eli Bosnick. Yes, can we ask the barrels what a different barrel would say is the <laughs> one that has apples? In it? <laughs> no. No. These are not talking barrels. These are not talking barrels. Okay. No. Mm. I think that's right, though. Yeah. yeah, I think that's all we need, right? If we yeah. take one out of there, then we know that that's the one, and then we can eliminate the other two based on that. That's exactly right. Yeah, so you fix these labels, and Paul like takes a look inside to see that he corrects them, and he says, well, well done. But unfortunately, you didn't answer all possible riddles just now. But a promise is a promise. So I'll tell you the impossible riddle. Solve this, and you can have our key as well as the Stargazer's key. But be warned, once you hear this riddle, like so many before you, you'll settle down right next to me and give up forever. I'm telling you, there's no going back. Is it zero? Is the answer to the impossible <laughs> riddle zero? All right, here it is. Mm. So we're in hell, and hell is bad. Escaping would mean not being in this hell anymore. But it might be bad or worse, not perfect wherever we go. So the impossible riddle is, should you vote for Jill Stein? <laughs> 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 kind of beat me to my own punchline here. That's fine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What do you do when you have to choose between something you know is terrible and awful and something that might not be perfect? You, the, the lesser of two evils. You're required to do something that. Something might not no, be perfect. Think, Nothing's perfect. But think about it, because that might still be bad. 
Yeah. It doesn't yeah, matter. It's, it's less bad than this. No, 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 no. You're not understanding. It's it's that there. It might be here. And he takes the two keys out of his pocket and sort of lays them on the. the, the I would like grass. to take the keys. I take in front of you. One. And he's <laughs> he's so distracted by his own argument that he doesn't notice. And he's like, no, no, no. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> A tune, a tune, a tune. Right, Show yeah, your butthole. I'm taking this. I got it. I got it. I feel like his head is uh, looking at his own butthole at this point, isn't it? Guys, you're, you're not even listening to me. You're missing the, the opportunity. <laughs> I have your two keys. Oh, it's, it's really too important. Oh, it's too late. Uh, okay. Too late. We already I have the keys. What if it's not perfect? <laughs> Whatever you do, it might not be perfect. <laughs> All right. You make it away safely. <laughs> <laughs> Four keys in hand, you make your way to the center of the forest of Menoras and find yourselves before a mighty castle. Or at least what once was a mighty castle. Much like the castle in Avernus and the top of Dispater's Tower before it, this place has fallen into disrepair. The walls are crumbling. Parapets have fallen over thanks to the hand of time. And the gate, which admittedly does have four keyholes in it, is broken and hanging wide open. (laughs) <laughs> Inside the castle, ah. the situation is worse. What seems to have once been a beautiful demonic palace is dusty and rotting, and almost every square inch is covered in a noxious green slime. Oh, God. Mm. As you step through the door, a voice calls into the hallway from the throne room ahead of you. Oh, visitors, it's been so long. Come in, come in. You'll excuse me for not getting up to greet you, but as you'll see, I'm all over the place today. Oh. Oh. All right, no one say I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) The throne room is dominated by a surprisingly giant swimming pool filled with the green slime that you've seen all over the castle. As you enter, a voice booms from the pool itself and says, Welcome, travelers. I'm Mamoon, the Prince of Hell. How ever can I be of assistance? Is that slime like chickpeas? Are you, is oh, it oh, buddy. Laughing? No. Based? No, no. It's definitely not Chase. Why do you guys keep putting racism on me today? I'm just trying Mamoons to do. Mamoons is like the best flop. Mamoons it's the best, the best flop. I didn't place. say uh, That's we just a We literally na- had Mamoons Mammon tonight. is the head of His name hell. Is Mammon now. His You've na- been saying Mamoon. Mammon is the head of hell in the D and D property. And so, so you so made him Mamoon. I made him Mamoon. So, <laughs> feels like you did the racism. So you did it. <laughs> no, it's not tahini. It's green slime. <laughs> green. Tahini is not <sighs> the other. Whatever, it's fine. It's so <laughs> racist of you to say tahini. Really? Tahini, it's delicious. That's what they put I on the floor. We had it for dinner tonight. I have I no idea what I, it's in my body about. digesting right now. It's delicious. You can eat it. You can eat it. It's good for your heart. Oh God, this is tahini I'm, I'm is sesame, up. and it's not green. It's fine. It's fine. No, I'm saying it's not tahini. Would be white. Yeah, it's he's, green. This is he. He's just calling him a moon for some reason. I called him a moon because I I feel like I explained myself. <laughs> Modern genius. How do we get to the next level of hell? Oh, whatever would you want to do that for? We have everything and anything you could desire in Menorahs. And you smell fresh to this lair. Stick around for a couple thousand years, won't you? Can I do an investigation check on the slime? Yeah, you sure can. 19. 19. Okay, so here's what I will tell you. He is not inside the slime. He is the slime. Okay. And with a 19, I will also tell you that you notice everything that the slime has touched is sort of burned, scorched, or otherwise dead. Ooh. So you imagine if your bare skin makes contact with this slime, it's going to hurt. Fun. Okay. So I may not get this, but is it, it is part of him. It is not necessarily he has like glommed over stuff and like, Taking it into himself, it is part of him. He is the slime. He is the slime. I probably can't tell if he's always been the slime just from that 19. No, you can okay. Do you mean like ontologically? No, like I can't tell if he's like taken over people who've come to him, you know, and they've been morphed into the slime or if he is like, <laughs> the slime is like all originally him. Yeah, no, you can't tell that. I can't tell that. Okay. Mm. Okay. I mean, I feel like at 19, you should get some like pretty solid, like philosophical underpinnings for what's happening. Mm. I think Morgan asks good questions. I think we got a good 
a good amount. You also, with a 19, you learn that he's an excellent metaphor crafted by a genius. <laughs> what the hell? Ah. <laughs> so it's, it is burning, potentially. Poisoning, burning. With a 19, you don't know exactly what, but yeah, it's... Yeah, acidic. So, so wait, can I do an investigation check on what he's a metaphor <laughs> for? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> Roll it. Or Arcana, maybe, or uh, six. No. Six. It's a metaphor for my high school drama teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good high school drama teacher? I had a great dr high school drama teacher. I feel bad now. I don't think he'll ever listen to my podcasts, but. If he uh, did, how good could he really be? Though? Now he'd be saying, "Well, exactly." He yielded <laughs> me, so you know, <laughs> slipped up somewhere. What was your first big role in high school? I was. T I don't know why we're doing this, but I'll always do this because I'm a psychopath. I was Tevya <laughs> as a freshman. In that was your you first. Were I was Tevya, Tevya as a yeah. freshman. Mm -hmm. Jesus! Wow. Nobody had ever gotten the lead as a freshman before. Had anyone ever gotten that before? As nobody. A nobody. No people. Okay, can we go back to the game, please? I was the fastest <laughs> typist in my whole high school class. Keith, you can nice. have an inspiration point for doing that just now. I don't, know. I don't really know why you did it or for what reason, but you have an inspiration, an inspiration point. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the only other time I got one was when I knocked over the roll-ups. The roll-ups. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the only time anyone's ever gotten yeah. one in a that's game right. yeah. in this game. I knock over the roll-ups in here, too. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. I have a question. Yes. How would one leave if one could leave? Mm. Wanted to leave from this to the next one? I'm afraid there's bad news on that point. If you want to go to the next layer, I'm afraid you have to go through me. Uh, not a threat. I mean it literally. The exit to this layer is the drain at the bottom of my pool. I wouldn't recommend taking a dip, however. The results can be caustic. Caustic, yeah. I see that. Can you just, like, kind of scooch out of the way? I'm afraid I can't and I shan't. Is this slime at all translucent? Not that translucent. Mm. Can I see the exit? Make a perception check for me. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Oof. Five. Yeah, you see it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that feels, though. There you go. 21. I got a 21. Yeah, you also see it. You see the shit oh, out of it. You. That <laughs> felt like uh, you rolled bad, so I'm going to tell you you can see it, and you have to determine <laughs> if you are going to, yeah. <laughs> I can also see it, though, as, with a 21. Yeah, yeah. There's a train at the bottom of the pool. That's it? Mm-hmm. Ooh. So I noticed that the doors have been smashed open. We got four keys, but we didn't need them, I guess, because the doors were smashed open. Why is that? Well, I suppose they just fell into disrepair. After all, it's not like I could wield a hammer. Hmm. Can we take a long rest here right in right front of you? Right here in front of me? Yeah. Absolutely, darling. It's just, what, you know what? Yep. You know what? Sure. We're going to go think about this and take your advice and stay here a little longer, and then we'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, my thought is I can dimension Doris if I can see the exit. Sure. Sure. Um, Let's just take a long rest outside under a little little pear tree or a peach tree or whatever the fuck. We have. I mean, we might as well go somewhere more comfortable since everything is the same distance away. Indeed. That's true. Indeed. Exactly. I'm going to take a long rest right next to Slime Guy and make eye contact. Nice. No, you don't. You know. Slime God, contact. very restful. But. All right. You guys kind of leave the adventure. Fine. And you, you go take an eight hour night of sleep. Yep. I guess. Oh. I already had all my stuff. So. And we're back. That was refreshing. I feel so well rested. Hey. Oh, whoops, slime guy. Hey, what's your name? Mamoon. Mamoon, right, right. You told us that before. So it's not Mammon, right? No. It's definitely Mamoon. That is, that, let me, I'll tell you why. Copyrighted. Oh, I Co see. Copyrighted yeah, is Mamoon all Yeah, because Mamoon isn't fuck. used anywhere else in anything at all. That's a person. He's a public figure. More like, more like Moo Moon. I could fuck that guy. What? <laughs> hey, are you, are you hungry by any chance? Ooh, I could always eat. Oh, all right. Because I've got, I've got some, uh, 
some jerky. Do you want to share some of this jerky? I would absolutely right, share some of that scooch jerky. scooch right over here a little bit further away I'm from where you are. I'm a pool of slime. Yeah. I don't really know how to better communicate to you <laughs> my inability to scooch. Oh, can you can you not move? You're like, you're, you're just like stuck there? Can't, won't, shon't. Mm. All three and a bag of chips, baby. Well, if you can't, it's not that you won't. I got this. I you this feeling. Well, it might be both, I guess. But but I have this feeling that you need a lot of hammering done. Mm. You know, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So I was thinking that there is probably a trade off that we could make. You know, that involves gate repair, and uh, you temporarily relocating to a adjacent pool of some sort, uh, so that we could use your drain. Ooh, I didn't think of this, but I like it. Make a persuasion check for me with advantage because I like the I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> All right. It's a good thing we got the advantage. Let's get that yeah. advantage going. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 that's a 10. a 10 and a 7. Can I also try and persuade him of this uh, idea? Unfortunately, can I uh, inspire Sideways? <laughs> no, it cannot inspire you sideways. Sure, this isn't a charisma saving throw. Because... <laughs> Quick! <laughs> Can I athletically persuade him? I would like to go out into the hallway and see if the material. You said that there's like some slimy stuff in the like. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I would like to see if it's flammable. Ooh! Just by going out into the hallway, get a separate, you know, and they left behind. Is the slime out in the hallway part of his body too, or is that like remnants of him going? I think you're about to find out when a chum sets it on fucking uh, fire. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. <laughs> I, uh, the, the, the farthest. Say, oops, <laughs> I've dropped my candle right before him. Oh no, I've dropped my candle and I'll cast Firebolt on the little bit of... I'm going to do a performance to make it seem like she really dropped her candle. <laughs> oh, what a lovely tea party. I okay. <laughs> you super sell that, Damien, because you got a 23. 23. Yeah. yeah. So like you do a brilliant performance of that. Unfortunately, Mamun sees through the slime, so he's just watching her <laughs> Firebolt I, I, him. Well, no, I was going to... Wait, what? Like out in the hallway? Yeah. He's the he slime. He sees through the hallway? To he the hallway? is. He's made it. The, the whole thing is him. Slime. <laughs> That's why I was asking. All right. Well, I didn't get it. I didn't get it with fire. Oh, well, you sure fucking did. He's a pool. <laughs> I, no, I was, wasn't was aiming at the pool. I was aiming at a small amount. You said it was everywhere in like the, the door handle and shit like that. Yeah. And you fucking hit it, baby. With an eight. <laughs> he is everywhere. He is spread out Mom, all I'm over. really okay. sorry about sure. that. Sure. Really sorry about that. That was an accident. Oh, why would you hit me like that? I'm so sorry. I was trying. I was trying to clean up after out here. I wasn't sure. I didn't know that this was you. But I you apologize. know I'm the slime. You've been talking to me. I am so <laughs> there sorry. There are so many steps between this <laughs> and catching me on fire. I apologize. Are you okay? I mean, yeah. But just, you know, since it happened anyway, uh, did it do any damage? damage? <laughs> yeah, I bet you burned the fuck out of that. Is it gone? Oh, did and I? It, it did is I? Gone. Do I get to roll damage? Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. I, d I didn't have to roll damage. You didn't it's have to roll gone. damage. That slime you were squirting out is gone. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> It feels like you guys are about to do a should we murder him huddle. And I just want to throw out there that what? like, no, guy won't move is not grounds for murder. I don't know what you said, murder. That I mean, I, you know, if you won't move out of our way in escaping hell, I feel morally, I'm going to get, I'm going to get Aaron Rabinowitz on the right line real quick. And find I'm out reporting you guys to can. Dog, 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 dog. Yeah. Hey, dog. Nope. What's up, dog? No, no, What's you're, up, you're, you're not the dog. You're not the dog. Oh, I thought you were using the colloquial expression. <laughs> 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 this is a really problematic episode. <laughs> you guys want to start from the beginning? <laughs> you walk over the hills to the shrine of Resign. <laughs> Gravy. Maybe your name's Chad. You have shaped water. Mm. Don't you? Yeah, I actually had a question related to that. Sure. Oh, okay. Can I do, and now it's, <laughs> now my mystery is kind of ruined, but it's fine. Can I do a perception check for the chemical composition of the slime, approximately? Yeah, it is slime magic. Nailed it. Okay, 
so passively, I got that. Can I roll for it now? You can roll for it. I will tell you, I as the dungeon master don't know. So you're going to have to roll really <laughs> fucking right, high. Let's find out what happens. We're trying to figure out if shape water. It's a 10. It's slime. It's slime. I would like to make a perception check. It's 12. Slime. All right. Morgan, can't you just teleport us to the thing? That was my thought. Or okay. I could drain him with a dimension door like oh. we did. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So if you drained him, like we wouldn't have to kill him. You could just drain him into like the the pond outside. Yeah. Or the moat. Podcast listener, Heath has rolled a natural one on an athletics check. He didn't <laughs> say what he was doing, but I just want you at home to picture Gravy slipping on some slime and falling on his back <laughs> in the background. I tried to do a backflip and I shot myself. <laughs> yeah, happens. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> to the best of us. Yeah, that was my thought was I could just drain him. I could banish him. He's... He's pretty big, though. He'd probably nope. pass the... It, this uh, is the whole thing. No, but he'd probably pass the save. He's like a boss. Oh. Okay, question. When a pool of slime meets a woman... Uh, <laughs> if a pool of slime is incapacitated so much that they fall prone, what would that mean geometrically? Eli Bosnick. Ooh, that's a great question. I don't think a slime can fall prone. Mm. So they would just stay prone? Yeah, I think they're immune to the condition the way that like some snakes are. Some snakes? Yeah, like <laughs> the ones without Which legs. snakes are not? Leg snake. <laughs> did you say leg? Leg snake. He did say leg snake. Okay. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have legs. It's just one big leg one big that leg. slithers around. Very easy to make prone though. I would like to banish him. All right. Read that spell description. I know you've talked about it, but uh, read that spell description. You attempt to send one creature that you can see within range, that's 60 feet, by the way, to another plane of existence. The target must succeed on a charisma saving throw or be banished. If the target is native to the plane of existence you're on, you banish the target to a harmless demiplane while there the target is incapacitated. The target remains there until the spell ends, at which point the target he appears in the space in left or in the nearest occupied space if that space is occupied. All right. Uh, Christmas saving throw. Ooh. That is a 22. Well, that that's fine. So, Achoom, for the second time, you cast a magical attack against the... <laughs> it's not an attack. You banish him. You it's, attempt to yeah. banish... Him to it's a different aggressive. dimension. It's not an attack. <laughs> but out of hell, that's like a positive. Yeah. <laughs> and Mamoon says, Oh, this kitty has claws, as they say. I'm afraid you've been terribly rude. And with me, as indisposed as I am. And as he says this, four green blobs of slime slosh from the pool up onto the sides, blocking your path. And they begin to form into human and cat-like shapes. Yeah. And Mamoon says, <laughs> well, since you want to fight and I'm in no shape to fight, I suppose I'll have to ask you to fight yourselves. Everybody, roll initiative for me. Hello, podcast listener. Now, this is going to be very confusing because we are recording next episode as... Is May 7th. Right now. <laughs> but May you, 7th, 8.42 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> the Rangers are, are on. We're level eight. You are listening to a different episode than the one we are recording. Not level eight. You're not level eight in your time dimension, but it is... Matreon. Donald Trump died. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying something. Yeah, I'm no. Something else. But manifest. Oh, okay. Manifest, King. Manifest. Let him come. Manifesting <laughs> abundance, everybody. We'll man, 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 man. My vision board is so illegal. It's all, so yeah. Illegal. Very similar to mine. But we wanted to hop in to thank you, of course, for listening to the show, but to remind you that, hey, if you give us any amount of money if you either increase your pledge or pledge to any of our podcasts during this month you can make cool stuff happen during the pajama party like ass coffee 
like ass coffee, which Heath is, mm. I would say, eager for. But one of one of the things. No, that you can, don't don't make me do that. Don't <laughs> bid it up to that. It's got real Briar Patch vibes, Heath. Then right, real Briar Patch vibes going on. I will do a coffee enema inside of a Briar Patch. Oh. <laughs> That sounds slightly less comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not better. <laughs> but one of the things that you can get is another episode of our podcast, DM'd by our amazing Heath Enright, who, of course, did our Christmas special this year. Oh, did you hear him have to swallow back vomit to say amazing <laughs> Heath Enright? What the hell, dude? Our wonderful... I'm going to edit out the swallowing. It's going to... It's going to flow smoothly. Say something nice about me now. Tall. <laughs> Hey, you guys. I love you. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, we wanted to thank you so much for supporting the show and for making this show happen. This show happened because of Matreon against Noah's will, but it happened. It happened and here it is. It was a fun, pleasant surprise, like a like an unexpected pregnancy of a podcast. Um, so <laughs> you can check all that out by pledging to the shows. Follow along with the goals at Matreon.com. And uh, Keith, you want to send people back into the show? And with that, back to D&D Minus. Look at that! Natural Aww, DMing ability. Cute. All right. So you are standing at the edge of this pool filled with slime. And on either side, there is now a fully formed slime gravy, slime achoom, slime Damien, and slime Vardos. They look exactly like you, except made out of slime. Think slime Luigi? Gooigi. Gooigi. Yep. Nice. Love it. And there's two frogs, three frogs. And there's a lot of frogs. Everybody <laughs> rolled their initiative. All right. Achoom, we got a four. No, I didn't. I did. Oh, I did not. I Damien mean, yes, got okay, a f- 22. Gravy got a four. And Vardos got an eight. I like that the frogs are organized and on pedestals only so far. Oh, no. There's a. Yep. They're all mm-hmm. on top of pedestals. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's Y'all like the frog are, gods are watching you, us. Someone is m- murdering my art. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damien, you are up first. Oh, snap. Okay. I just noticed because they have the same stats and attacks as all of you. I noticed that um Achum has a quarter staff equipped and I love it so much. <laughs> I know, right? Because I'm picturing a full sized one just between his teeth. Oh, I love that. You said this was magical slime? You did not check if it was magical slime or not. I mean it turned into fucking morphed into us. So <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like a little bit magical. Yeah, it feels pretty magical, right? Yeah, it's probably. I am going to... who of the, Okay, this is going to get contentious, but of the four of us, who's the best? Mm, me. Who's the one we least want to face? I have amazing badonk. I feel like, I feel like <laughs> we go mirror match like Mortal Kombat, right? I wanted to fight the you. Yeah, I, we should gang up on Slime Damien. That would, that's an easy kill. Yeah. But like we could just like like verbally bully Magic Damien and <laughs> fight other ones, right? So like my thought is I'm assuming that they are essentially the same like skill trees and stat lines as us. Right. So I'm thinking take out either Vardos or Gravy because they'll have two attacks. Yeah. I, I think yeah, that's that makes correct. Sense. I don't know that what I'm gonna do is gonna work, but I it could it could theoretically erase one. Vardos, what kind of spells are you working with? I only have a few, like, kind of basic I ones. I really don't have spells. Okay. I can. I, I have, like, some healing stuff and shit like that, but I don't really have spells. Okay. Mm-hmm. Slime Gravy could firebolt us, which kind of hurts. Mm-hmm. Um, f- slime Gravy could shape water, which doesn't really help unless you count the, the water inside of a being, but I think we canceled that, right? Well, uh, the Slimes haven't asked me whether or not they can do it. You know, I'm in a different chat with them. And Gravy <laughs> is, if if they're a copy-paste, Gravy will be most powerful 
on a kill, right? Because he'll get a second attack on a kill. Hey, question for Eli Bosnick. Do we have some <laughs> spells from uh, as slime versus Is this them? slime heath? Yes. <laughs> or is this heath pretending Regular to be sl slime, slime heath slime. who plays ask slime me heath? Ask me a question about slime. <laughs> that only heath would know. How much do you love slime cheese? Regular. Oh, see, I knew you were just regular, Heath. Fuck. <laughs> That's actually really offensive that you would do. <laughs> just a, a tear-stained Heath making an apology at a podium. I think the slime people have been through so much, and if I had known that my fun bit at their expense. <laughs> so this, <laughs> this might do nothing. It might be awesome. It might do everything. <laughs> I'm going to cast Dispel Magic on Slime Vardos. Ooh, I fucking love that. Ooh, me too. Read that spell description for me. Choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. The range is 120 feet. Any spell of third level or lower on the target ends for each spell of fourth level or higher on the target. Make an ability check using your spell casting ability. The DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. On a successful check, the spell ends. All right. I will tell you, if you get an 18 or higher, Oof. you will dispel this slime. Which slime are you going for, just for the record? Slime Vardos. Slime Vardos. All right. Roll that dice for me. Okay. I need to figure out... What's your plus on this? Yeah. I don't know what I'm exactly adding. You want your spell casting modifier. Okay. That is plus four. That's your hit slash DC for a spell? Must be, yeah. So I roll a d20 and I got hit an 18? Uh, yes. Oh, 20. Oh, no, 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. Well, plus, yes. plus four, 22, yeah. All right. Slime Vardos splashes onto the pavement. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> <laughs> so Slime Achoom is up next. And Sly Machum speaks in Mamoon's voice and says, It looks like it's time to let the cat out. And he points at you and casts banishment. Is that like a, is that like a saying, let the cat out? When you say you. When you say you. You, Achum. Oh. Like and the dogs Kinky Dory. Out the yeah. Uh, and I would like to react to that. May I react to that? Sure. I would like to counterspell. Sure. Have you read this description before? You attempt to interrupt a creature in the process of casting a spell. If the creature is casting a spell of third level or lower, its spell fails with and has no effect. If it is casting a spell of fourth level or higher, make an ability check using your spell casting ability. The DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. On a success, the creature's Spell fails and has no effect. All right. So you need higher than a 14. 13. Oh, That's a 13. Fuck. That counter spell will not work. All right. Achoom. So close. I'm going to get a charisma saving throw from you. Ooh. You need Ooh. to hit a 14 or you will be banished. I am so excited. <laughs> 16. 16. Hey. It's the frogs. It's the army and of frogs. And banished Achoom's tense there. I want, I want just everybody, just because it's my birthday, everybody take a look at the very top of the map. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the luck of the frog. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I just zoomed out. I saw them all. Saw them all? There are a lot. There are a lot. I mean, at least... 50. Some of them are outside <laughs> of the Euclidean space of this universe. I love it. Mm -hmm. Indeed. It's my birthday. Slime Vardos is up next. He, no, uh, he's not. He has been dispelled. Reforms himself. What? But the fuck he does? He seems like he's probably half the size that he was before. Ooh. Boo. Lame. Boo. <laughs> he should have been dispelled. And he was respelled no. by the demon who controls him. I hate this. All right. Let's see. Morgan is fighting under protest from this point. <laughs> They're all going on next. And now it is Slime Damien's turn. Slime Damien. This should be good. Is going to cast 
I'm really looking forward to the like loot coming out and an emo yeah. song of a slime song. song, song. <laughs> Freak on a leash through slime. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he is going to point at Gravy and say, You pointing at me? Bad dog, man. Bad dog. <gasps> Weird. Not a song. And he casts Polymorph. Ooh. So, Polymorph, this spell transforms a creature that you can see within range into a new form. An unwilling Falcon. creature Falcon. <laughs> must make a wisdom saving throw to avoid the effect. The spell has no effect on a shape changer or a creature with zero hit points. We'll talk about the consequences if it succeeds. This is going to be a wisdom saving throw of 15. Gravy. Okay. And there's no way to just like beat myself up to zero points to avoid this or whatever. You could kill <laughs> yourself. Yeah, you could slit oh, your throat do, as the... Then yeah. I would just be dead. Yeah, got it. Yes. Okay. So wisdom saving throw. Mm-hmm. Shit. That is a six. Fuck. So you all watch as Slime Damien points his finger and says what he says. And then in a poof and a clatter of armor, you watch as Gravy is turned into a butterfly. Aww. Guys, this is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is so cool. All right. I could sting like a bee, probably. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not what... Okay? Because Muhammad Ali. Okay. Mm. And my voice is Rocky, which is also boxing. <laughs> <laughs> and then last is Slime Gravy, who is going to leap across the pool next to Ooh. real Achum here over quite a few frogs and <laughs> take a big slash at him with his slime version of Gravy Sword. Boo. We should probably move. <laughs> Since we're all well, fucking... I haven't, haven't had, had a turn, turn yet. Yeah, right. yeah, Achum true. just opens up the belly and then it's a trap. And all of a sudden, <laughs> slime gravy just gets bit, scratched, all that stuff. Well, I have a I have a shield. I can like um, defend you and make him roll with disadvantage. Yeah, force disadvantage. Unless you want to get hit. Yeah, do it. Do it, do it. Do it. All yeah, right. Let's see how I don't get this hit. other roll goes. That's a twenty-one. All right. Well, that's Jeez. not no. really helping. So that's going to be nine damage. Ooh, that's okay. Could you imagine telling our characters last year about reactions and like how to use <laughs> them? Meow. Yeah. Last year we were just like, fucking, I don't know. I'm going to hold my little paw up. Like, why would you do this? <laughs> why would you do that? All right. Ardos, you are up. All right. How far can I move in, uh, to attack somebody? Your movement is 30 feet. All right. So the only one I can reach is Slime Gravy. So I'm going to move over here and I am going to attack Slime Gravy with my sword. Dice. Wait a second. He hit me. Yeah. I cast a. Um, Abjuration spell earlier. I used counter spell. Mm -hmm. I can create a magical ward on myself once per last after once after using an abjuration spell that lasts until the you I finish a long rest. Hey Heath. Yes, Morgan. Would you rather be a big butterfly or a different animal? Okay, so you needed to do it <laughs> when. <laughs> so, do you mean like just philosophically? Like, is it like a slumber party <laughs> question? <laughs> over? Yes, exactly. <laughs> or, or do you mean like now? I mean like on my next Do turn. you think Tom Cruise is nice? <laughs> I bet he's nice. <laughs> no, on your on my next turn, would you rather be enlarged or polymorphed again? Okay. Ah. Uh -huh. You think about it and let I me know. Will. Sorry, love. The reason that I brought it up now is because last time I thought that I could only do it when I was hit, mm -hmm. but it turns out that's it's when I cast the abjuration spell. So I mean, I, we don't. I don't have to have done that. I'll just wait until I cast. No, it that's fine. One. We can. Well, we can just reading from the kids' book of questions. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's writing onto Reddit. Dear Reddit, T I F U. <laughs> I'll, do it. I'll, I'll do it when I, I'll do it next time around. Okay, so don't great. worry about it. Yeah, sorry. All right, uh, Vardos, you rolled a seventeen, mm -hmm. which does hit Gravy's AC. Go ahead and roll that damage for me. That'll be eight. Eight damage. Well done. And then I have a second attack, and I want to do the same you thing. You do have a second attack. That it doesn't really matter with the second attack so much. It was the first one was really where it was at. All right, Achoom. You are up. All right. I'm going to do shopping and grasp. All right. Shocking grasp is how you're actually supposed to say that. That is word. true. That's 20 to hit. 
That'll hit. And that's nine damage. Nine damage. Well done. Hiss. <laughs> Hiss girl. Hiss in. Hiss girl. Hiss girl. Mouth that thing. Indeed. All right, Gravy, you are up. Okay. Um, first of all, Morgan, what gives you the ick, if you had to say? <laughs> Now, keep in mind that what gives Morgan the ick won't necessarily give Damien the ick, yeah. which wouldn't in turn give the character of Damien no, who I'm he asking plays Morgan the, the person. This has nothing Morgan to do with Morgan the person. You. I do not like cringe comedy shows. Got it. Okay. Ah. Like The Office? You don't like The Office? Yeah, I hate The Office. Oh. Yeah. Do you like Steve Carell? I mean, we're... I do like Steve Carell. Okay. We're kind of a cringe... Noted. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't think we're a cringe comedy. Are we a cringe comedy show? Oh, God. God at 18. <laughs> Too self-aware. You're like, if we have to ask. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> All right. Should I take a bunch of pills? <laughs> should I attack half size? <laughs> should I attack half size slime Vardos or mm. slime gravy? I feel like you're a butterfly, dude. You are a butterfly. I was just going <laughs> to let him do it and then break it to him that he's a butterfly. I still have a weapon. Nope, you sure don't. You are a butterfly. What are you going to do with a what? You going to pick up a sword as a butterfly? Yeah. You go grip it by the husk. This all feels so familiar. <laughs> do you have spells? I do have spells. Like spells you might be able now to Now is the time you do for fire them, my bell, guy. Fireball. Don't butterflies have like poison or did I, did I make no, that No, you made that up. I think monarch butterflies are poisonous. Yeah. Okay. If you eat a bunch of them. Am I a monarch butterfly? Yes. I'd like to feed myself to slime. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah. I hate this. Wait. So I, I have a sword, but I just can't do anything. Can't wield it at all. You're a butterfly. You are You're a butterfly. Can you even imagine what it would look like? A butterfly yeah, wielding a sword? Yeah, it would look sword? awesome is what it would look like. <laughs> <laughs> it would look like a sword just dangling in the air. Yeah, so cool, but I can't do that. So do that. You're a butterfly. I can do two maybe useful spell things. Wait, I need to Google and see if you can cast spells when you're polymorphed. You can absolutely cast spells when you're a polymorph. I mean, he couldn't when he was a falcon. I'm a cat. I don't think he had spells. I can cast spells. Hey, Morgan, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Morgan. Fucking narc. It can't speak, cast Fucking spells, or take or any other asshole. <laughs> you cannot cast spells right now. What? This is no. the worst sleepover. Why would a butterfly not be allowed to cast spells? <laughs> <laughs> what hey, is a butterfly <laughs> allowed to do? <laughs> <laughs> Flit from flower to flower. <laughs> Enchant. <laughs> Are there flowers? Work as a sign. You could try to distract one of them. Try to distract one of them. I right. I so Can't you? I asked earlier if I could fly into slime gravy's eyes. Yes, to I said yes. When you said nothing. I said I love that. I said I love that. You, what, Morgan? Morgan? <laughs> Morgan? Please place my reaction right. Please here. Play. Can we get the steno to read the back tape to me? Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to feed myself to slime. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah. I hate this. <laughs> and we're back. I don't see butterfly on this polymorph chart. Where is it on that yeah. polymorph chart? Eli. I chose it for my well, heart. Oh, that's ridiculous. I chose it for my heart. Well, then I can choose anything for my heart. It's a C as long as the CR is lower than the actual creature itself, you can choose anything from your heart. But then I would be making up the CR. That's right. As long as it's lower than the creature. If I'm making up the CR, why don't I just create a fucking awesome thing and make up the CR? No, because you can't lie about the CR. You know what the CR is. It's in not your lying heart. if I make it up. Everybody keeps saying CR. What is that? <laughs> Challenge rating. Okay. Oh. Stop saying CR. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I don't know. I fucking fly in slime gravy's <laughs> eyes. Great. All right. Fly and I'm gonna get you next. Don't, don't worry, Heath. I'm gonna I'm gonna change you back. All right. Now you have the movement. I don't think you need to really do much for that. Can I talk? Fuck, I forgot to move. Speaking <laughs> is a free action. Yeah. Can I talk in As only a butterfly. butterfly? Oh yeah. No, you can't speak. Yeah. Yeah. You can speak. <laughs> you can speak. I don't know why that was my noise hey, for butterfly. Why do you think a butterfly makes that? Noise? <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was pterodactyl all of a sudden. And I was like, <laughs> here's is that the noise a pterodactyl makes. Here's what I'm going to say. 
They have like a snoot. They have to whistle, probably. That's more like Gravy, make a straight up and down luck check for me. <gasps> a luck check. A luck check. What's that? So I might luckily become myself again. <laughs> Roll me a d20. All right. That Okay, so that's not a check that exists. I'm just rolling a straight d20. No. Got it. I see no luck. That's a critical fail. That is a Jesus critical Christ. fail. Oh, so literally, <laughs> oh, as a, like, I don't know what's going to happen now, but I can't wait to find out. Achum is turning to say some terrible mockery after casting the electric spell, and you accidentally fly into Achum's mouth, and you are now <laughs> oh, no! in Achum's mouth. Achum, <laughs> until gravy, until you use your action of your next turn to remove gravy from your mouth, you cannot cast any more spells. Bitch, you had inspiration. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> My idea is that someone who listens to this podcast was just listening to it and their spouse walked in <laughs> just, <laughs> just as you guys were like, ah, 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 bitch. and it was like, hey, hon, I want a divorce. I just, uh, I came in here to ask you where the Diet Cokes were, but I, now it's, I want a divorce. I don't want to be married anymore. <laughs> Proceeding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm LLC, copyright 2024, all rights reserved.